Hey y'all, I'm coming to you guys vlog style today and I wanted to just try to make a quick video and just give my input on Nick Avocado, Avocado's return because I, I, I watched his video and to be honest, when I clicked in, I wish I could have reacted to it um, because I didn't think it was going to be that good because I clopped everything he said in the beginning and I felt it. Um, and I'm seeing a lot of other responses to it, like obese to beast. Yeah, and I mean, I I don't even necessarily disagree with that. I think that it is very interesting, and this is what I talk a lot about on when when I talk about just putting a lot of faith in influencers and people that you see on the internet, because regardless, most people obviously are not doing it to the level that Nick is, but a lot of people, they're sharing highlights and things that they want people to see, and they are building a story or narrative around their life. Again, usually it's a, a little bit more realistic than what we have seen here, um, but there there is a lot of truth to what is being said, right? But to what he's saying, right? Peter Mann has made commentary on it. My reaction to it a little bit. So here he is with the bear and- Two steps ahead. Two steps ahead. Yeah, always two steps ahead. He says he's always two steps this ahead. This has been the greatest social experiment of my entire life. It's learning. it's compelling, it's great. So he's, he goes in there and he says, he's two steps ahead, he's always two steps ahead, and this has been a social experiment that he's done. And so you go into it and you're like, oh, so this is, the weight loss is a social experiment. So that was like the first thing to me that I was like, okay, this is this is an interesting way to come back and approach all this. Um, it's, his, it's his gotcha moment, is what it is, okay? To observe all these unwell, just want to be- And obviously like with TikTok, it's just gone crazy, right? But- what I'm noticing, a lot of people when they're providing their commentary, a lot of what Nikata was going over a lot of people's heads. And I'm just like, how? I, I understand like he speaks in a bit of a riddle like in the beginning of that video, but like if you're listening to him calling people and his spectators on the internet ants who are easily influenced and easily join hate trains and don't think for themselves and make assumptions and just follow while he's watching because no one knows him in real life no one knows what he's actually doing they're just basing their perception off of what he's uploading whether it's pre-recorded whether it's um you know something that's leading up to something else and it's just, it's so interesting to me to see his video go over so many people's heads because I'm sitting here and I'm like, I, I, I clock that. Nikocado Avocado, yes, has been a troll on the internet for many years. I used to make videos about him. I know I got rid of like all that stuff, but who knows? I might get back into some types of reactions or whatever. I don't know. I just do what I want on my channel now. It's just pretty much like, would be like free-spirited channel just like whatever I feel right and I know he's been a troll for many years I know a lot of people used to dislike him I used to kind of go back and forth or whatever but if it's one thing that you guys have probably always remembered me saying about him it's the fact that he's so funny like he's hilarious and he is very entertaining he knows how to put in put on a good show he knows he knows what he's doing when it comes to entertainment comedy drama he or, or whatever he knows exactly what he's doing and he knows how to captivate an audience and yes sometimes that includes making a complete fool of himself on purpose that's his prerogative okay and i used to always say that sometimes the orlin stuff i wouldn't be down with because they would be like fighting each other right like on screen i'm like i understand he wanted to like push the envelope and I, I understand that when it comes to comedy pretty much anything can go you know under the umbrella it just depends but there are just certain things that me personally I just don't find funny regardless of how um you present them or who who is presenting them right um when I was watching the Gakato's video I loved it because I feel like more creators and more youtubers if you guys have been watching my channel I've been talking about this mindset. I've been talking about how I think a lot of creators are waking up to the fact that trying to make sure you make all the right moves, trying to make sure you do everything correctly. I'm going to finish the rest of this video voiceover style, but 
pretty much what I was saying is that trying to appease the audience and all of this, it's, it's impossible, first of all. Like, not everyone's going to like you. And a lot of people make assumptions. And sometimes it can be the wildest assumptions, like not anything based on fact. Like, sometimes it's not even based on the content that's even presented, which is a, a whole different level of, of stupid, in my opinion. But it was refreshing to see Nick Akato's video because his mentality, that of, okay, I made a spectacle of myself on purpose on the internet. And so many people made their assumptions. So many people judged me. They judged my weight. They judged this. And I've been two steps ahead this entire time watching you and seeing what you're doing, seeing what you're saying while working on myself, while trying to improve myself. And no one knew because obviously nobody would know because online people can only go off of what you show and tell them and I think also the perception of what we see online people often forget that these are pre-recorded videos content that is anywhere between a few minutes to a few hours out of a 24-hour day no one truly sees what goes on behind the scenes it is impossible to know the ins and outs of a creator's life and that's why sometimes spectating on a creator's life and what's going on in the background and all these things it's 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 stupid i know a lot of people do it for content i know drama channels um have done that for content oh especially back in the day with like all the the makeup drama and all that but i love seeing this mentality spread which is you know people are going to say what they're going to say let them think what they're going to think and i'm going to continue living my life and i'm going to continue doing this and i don't care and the entire time also under nikakato's return the cycle it's working because a bunch of channels are covering it i mean even me i'm adding my two cents only because i feel like it aligns with what I've been saying on my channel um, in regards to creators and even musicians because they've had enough and they want the freedom to just be themselves. They're tired of people pleasing. They're tired of even being polite about it. They just want to be themselves and they know that they're going to be judged, but they don't care, but they're no longer trying to people please their audience. When I was watching the Kakados video, I grasped everything that he was saying and to be honest i do support and understand his villain era because even if you are mildly mildly controversial on this platform people will talk about you they will talk about you for years and years and years they will make you relevant even if you don't post a lot of people were mentioning how Nikocado hadn't posted in seven months. And even I didn't realize that because to me, he was just as relevant as ever, even before his return. Because even before his return, these weren't the only videos being made on him. Like people were still talking about hungry fat chick stuff from like years ago. Even like little TikToks, you would see clips of like his older videos and things like that. I, you know, you would never know. And sometimes especially with drama channels like they they don't let things go they will harp on the same dry points um for years and years and years and years and years and, and that's also how things become diluted and it's really impossible to grasp genuine information or or valuable information about the content you're trying to watch or the creator um you're trying to get information about because it's so diluted between what's being presented, what's actually out there, the audience's perception, and then you have third parties who are covering it, and then you have other third parties who want to make a sensation out of it, um, add their two cents, make a spectacle, um, twist, lie, and try to say that more is going on than what it is. And that is how a lot of stuff gets misspread. And we know how the internet is. It thrives on drama, chaos. And so sometimes people will believe lies and things that aren't true because they, they want the sensationalism. And Nikocado knew that. That's why he made a spectacle of himself on purpose. And 
some things that he did, even comedically, whether I even agree with them or not, he still did them because he knew how to get people talking, right? And it it does take a certain level of tolerance to do that because at the end of the day, he's still human. I don't think anything prepares any human being for um, backlash and how vicious people can be, especially when you put t- content like that out there on purpose, let alone if you find yourself in a situation that is just over the top uh, chaotic or whatever, or maybe you're just at a down period in your life and you're vulnerable about it online. I don't think anything prepares um, the human mind for the vitriol that can come after that. And it takes a, a certain level of maturity. It takes a certain level of stepping back and reanalyzing and even reevaluating yourself to really get a grasp on that and make whatever comeback you're going to make, right? Because you guys have seen me in my villain era before on my channel, right? And I'm actually of the opinion of... I think Nikocado has every right to be in his villain era and he does not owe anyone any respect. I know that you guys don't like to hear this, but I keep trying to tell everyone that creators do not have to talk to you nicely. <laughs> like the internet is the only place where commenters want to Commenters and spectators want to be as vile and as disgusting as they can be, but they want the creator to like stay in their box and like not say anything back or like not defend themselves or like just be very, very demure and very mindful (laughs) Um, in their approach or their responses. And that's just, that's just honestly, that's not your place to say. And I know I uh, did this with the whole Doja Cat conversation where I turned off the comments because I wanted to demonstrate how unimportant that kind of engagement is for a creator because people get so bent about what a creator is saying, how they're saying it, why they're saying it. And they want to go and, and, and start a whole you know novel in the comments about you know their feelings and stuff. It's it's just it's not it's not the place for it. It doesn't matter. Like people don't have to be nice to you, especially if people have been under a lot of scrutiny or under constant scrutiny, right? And in Nikocado's video, he says he purposely made himself the villain because he saw how the internet was. So he he played that machine to his benefit to where it's made him a lot of money. Um, it's kept him very relevant. And I don't know if I would consider Nikocado famous, like a celebrity, but he's definitely infamous. I think a lot of people forget <laughs> that creators behind the screen are still human beings just like them. We're all human, right? And you cannot try to adapt real life interaction the way you would on the internet. And I know some creators have also made that mistake. Some people feel like in real life, you know, um, if I respect you, you respect me. And then some people also in real life don't care who they disrespect and they're just very hostile people. But I think people forget that at any given moment, if a creator wants to turn off their comments, if a creator wants to maybe just like speak down to people, whatever, if a creator wants to be in their villain era and and just post offensive content on purpose, if a creator, it's, it's their prerogative. There's no controlling that. That is something that's going to be out of the audience's control, the spectator's control, everyone's. And it doesn't matter your feelings on it or how much you retaliate against it. It's just the way it is. I do love seeing the Kakado mention how easily manipulated and influenced the internet is and how easy it is to rile people up and how drama channels and spectators and things like this kind of add to that toxic mix. I Anytime I see a creator talking about it, you guys know I always said I was going to come on here and, and give my two cents on it because I love to see it because... I think that we went through a period where creators like myself, we came on here vulnerable, open, 
just 100% our authentic selves, take the good for the bad, you know, not really knowing how things could twist and turn if I was going through something negative or being seen in a negative light or just dealing with things that I honestly couldn't control myself, right? I don't think anything prepares you for that. And I think we're finally going through a period of where creators have gone through it. They've overcame it. They're in their villain era. They're in their comeback era. Life has gotten better. Things have improved. And now they're back on their bullshit and they don't care because they've been through it. And I think that that's why we're seeing a step back in the people pleasing. We're seeing a step back in the... Oh, well, what happened to their old videos? Oh, I remember how they used to be. You used to be so nice. You used to treat your audience like this. And it's like, that's not old. That's not old, right? So, I don't know. I, I love to see it. I, I think Nick Cotto did an amazing job. I really do. You guys go ahead and let me know what you all think of um, the Nick Cotto video or whatever. I'm still uh, just going to be posting sporadically like I told you all. But when I try to see things or whatever, I like will wait around and I'll give my two cents. But yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.